Good morning, folks. Today I'm going to be changing out this little three gallon per minute pump for this 185 gallon per minute pump. The three gallon pump runs on AC power, electricity. This pump runs on a gas engine. The difference in horsepower between these two is about 15 to one. Strangely enough, this pump also pumps about 15 times as much water as the small pump. So I'll go ahead and get started. I have to put some oil in the engine and some gas and we'll get things going. I'm going to put this quick disconnect fitting onto this IBC tote. This is lightweight aluminum, so I won't be putting any real torque on the IBC tote, which is pretty important. Boy, that's pretty hot. It was in the sun for a little while, and it definitely heated up. That will do. Now I'll have another fitting that will attach right here. That will go to the intake hose on the pump. This fitting has a problem. I'll have to replace it, but I can make it work for today. I'll also need to add a fitting so that the arms clear the IBC tote. Well, that was our first test run for the new water pump system. It emptied that 300 gallon tote in almost no time. Beats the heck out of uh, what was it, an hour and 45 minutes before? <laughs> an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. Now what I need to do is go ahead and configure this pump where it's going to live. I'll build a small stand and a cover for it. And then I have to figure out what we're gonna do with this PVC discharge hose. It's really not very good. 
It's so, okay, but the problem is we have to not have 90 degree angles in it. And we have to have a way of keeping it in there because you can't be there and here and there at the same time. And I can't always take off well, 10 minutes. I definitely need to build <laughs> a end for that that will go, okay. over, go over the top of the yeah, and stay tank in. and stay in. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for watching. This didn't go exactly as planned, but... Didn't take an hour and 45 minutes either. No, <laughs> a whole lot faster. If I wanted to do another load today, I could definitely get a load in. But I think it's time to wrap up a few things, do a few other things, and uh, get some other supplies for this setup. Sounds reasonable to me. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was provide... Thanks for watching. I hope this provided some entertainment for you, if nothing else. Really, the weird things you have to do when you live off-grid. Yeah, so now all I have to do is take apart the old pump, put it back where it belongs. Because I'm sure it'll still be used for some things. And roll up the hoses so that they don't <laughs> freeze when it comes to be wintertime. Right. So. Thanks for watching. Take care. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications because we'll be doing a lot more crazy stuff here on the homestead. Right. Lots. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.